Hey, amigos, I'm gonna still get situated here and let some people get online. Never done this before, so bear with me, but I feel uh, compelled, my soul feels compelled to share um, share my heart with you guys and uh, just uh, if you feel like listening, that's great. Otherwise, just skip on to another story. I'll wait a couple minutes here, but basically, I just want to explain where I've been the last two weeks just um, with my, my compelling action to put stuff out there that's dark and wicked and uh, I just want to speak from my heart uh, and explain to my friends that uh, may think I've had a manic breakdown but um, I do this out of love and I want to say first I'm not I'm not a preacher I'm a son of a preacher man but I'm not a preacher um, I'm just a broken dude that asked like 14 years ago uh, for God to give me some mission when I lost somebody I loved and uh, that was kind of the beginning of me being awakened in my faith um, I think suffering and uh, brokenness is a gift and uh, I think it's the greatest gift if, if there's a greater place the greatest gift can be enduring brokenness because it makes you start stop looking inward and start looking outward um, it uh and I've got like a soundtrack going on because I always uh, when I'm writing or uh, I listen to soundtracks of movies but and I'm going to speak in allegory because I'm a First of all, I'm going to be sweating because I'm a sweaty dude, but uh, I don't want this to be too long. I just want to share what God has, has put on my heart. And uh, again, I'm not trying to be a, a prophet here or, or even bring prophecy, um, but I do believe God is moving um, and it's he's moving where he's about to turn on the lights for all of us to see. And we've... Uh, let me just take a step back. We've got some people watching now, okay. But uh, I just wanna say, if this wasn't like, <clears throat> I know I'm putting myself out there. I may lose friends over this. I may lose business, but I'm just speaking from my heart. And I may make some claims that don't actually happen. Um, and I don't want to discount the message that I'm trying to say that God gave me to say. Um, but I just want y'all to look at your lives and I want you first to pretend. I just want to tell you a story. And I want you to pretend that there is darkness. There is a devil, which there is. There is there's demons and there's people that are persuaded that are children of God one way or the other. And <clears throat> the story start, started in a heavenly place. And we are heavenly creatures. We are aliens. We are men in a foreign land, men and women in a foreign land. And again, I'm going to speak in allegory. That means illustrations. I'm like a visual person. And by the way, I'm just a dumb meathead washed up meathead guy that just God gave us, gave me a story to tell. And it involves my, definitely what God showed me through losing someone I loved and, and just the freedom of going through suffering and how it can actually empower you, um, to, to look at life differently, to open your eyes. Um, cause we have a, we have a response. God, gives us response, the uh, freedom of, of response to our brokenness and our suffering. We can rebel against it. And believe me, I've done a lot to try to get 
past hurting, you know, I've drank too much and um, done things, you know, that I'm not proud of just to make the hurt go away. But I just want to take it back to the initial story that got us here. God created the heavens and the earth. He created all the angels in the sky. And there are angels walking amongst us, folks. And again, pretend that you believe, if you don't, what I'm saying. Uh, that there, There's a darkness and there's a light. And... I think for a long time we've been plugged into a reality that is run by darkness and we've been brainwashed. And I, I speak from a person that is in media and has been doing it for 20 plus years. And we media is, TV programming is, it programs us to think and do and act a certain way, eat certain things, take certain Pharmaceutical drugs. Um, we're being deceived and lied to in a lot of it. And God is about to turn on the lights to a lot of the wickedness of the world. And people that we trusted, he, Satan has used to deceive us. And we've become comfortable in this life. that, And God wants us to have peace and joy in our sufferings and our brokenness, but he doesn't want us to be comfortable in this, in this world because again, this is not, this is not our world. This is a plane that where God sent, he rebuked Satan, who was, by the way, Lucifer was the, one of the most beautiful angels. And he thought everybody was telling him how beautiful he is. And so he got a little too confident and high on his horse and he basically was said I can do this the same and, and God said oh you think so and cast him down to the earth and along with his demons his group of demons and if you look at if we go to Hollywood which I live there I experienced some wicked stuff and I don't want to get into all the details I just want to stay do the 30,000 foot picture of what, what has been going on and, and the revelations that are happening in this world as, as we look at 2020, what a ridiculous, it's straight out of, of a movie. And I wanna say, what if our fantasies and nightmares are actually part of reality and art is reflected in life and we've just been blind to see um, because of this dark web that has brought up human trafficking, it's about to expose and this house of cards is about to fall down. And so if we think about it, we were children of God. God is love. And there's been great prophets that haven't been, I'm speaking to my, my, my fellow brothers and sisters who believe God is love, okay? I'm not speaking just to Christians, okay? I will say, I'm a, a children of God and a lover of Christ, a follower of Christ. And Christ is the missing puzzle piece that can bring us all together and unite the clans as William Moss wanted to do in Braveheart, which is one of my favorite movies. But we have been deceived for a long time and we've been plugged into this matrix of sorts that and this matrix that says this is our life, this is the reality, and we're supposed to just stay programmed and plugged into it. But I want to say that our reality is we've been deceived by people that we entrusted and that have been literally through media and politicians and, and the elites of this world have programmed us to believe one thing and, and we've been deceived a lot. And I, I don't want to ramble on and on, but I want to say that, think about this year. We've been in a pandemic and there's been lies, lies on both sides. And I want to say this isn't a, this isn't a liberal versus conservative thing because it's the people that are going to come out that have deceived us. It's been on both sides and it's worldwide network. 
Human trafficking, the dark web, is, has been, we actually created it, the good people, God's people, and then the dark one, Satan, darkness, has used it to exploit our children, to traffic men and women, to traffic drugs, to do basically all the evilness of this world, the dark web, which is called appropriately, is, has been a network that has been right under our nose and hidden. Um, I want to say like QAnons and like Q or whatever. I, I've had this stuff for, for a while. The information that I've manically put up the last two weeks just that shows that we've been lied to and people that we think are so great and idols and celebrities that we're, we're, we're watching, we're keeping up with the Kardashians, but not celebrating these badass seals that are going and knocking down walls and rescuing trafficked children, trafficked women. I mean, do you remember if you're a child of the eighties, you remember getting a, a milk carton and there'd be a missing child. It's not the boogeyman has been our next door neighbor our pastor, our, the guy that works alongside of us. And there have been a lot of good men that have been silent. And it's time that we stand up for the children, the most innocent. If we can stand for black lives, we can stand for the children that are being trafficked. And I, I want to ask, where are our, all the loud people, the loud celebrities that are Virtue signaling celebrities are the loudest ones to tell us to wear our mask and stay home and and yelling about Black Lives Matter. Where are they about talking about human trafficking? I've seen Blake Lively and Ashley Kutcher do amazing things. They're doing it. There's And God has cast, this is what I learned 14 years ago. What God shared to me through, he wanted me to make a film about, yes, my love story. But this is, we're living in a great, the greatest story ever told. Okay. And it's good versus evil. Every movie, there wouldn't be a good movie if there wasn't good versus evil. And that is the that is the battle, the spiritual battle that has been going on since the Garden of Eden. In the Garden of Eden, God created all the heavens and the earth. Whether he did it in seven days or seven million years, who gives a shit? And by the way, I cuss, I drink. I'm a very imperfect person. If, if I say anything that offends you, I'm sorry. I'm doing this out of love. And true, truly, look in my eyes. I'm not trying to... I may be PC, not PC, but I, I'm doing this completely from my heart. God has his chosen people that he's put down here. Satan has his cast of players. This is a big drama, the life we live. And we have family of generations of family that are in a greater place. There is a greater place called heaven and there's a more sour place called hell. It's real. And I don't want to get into the revelations that God's given me because I don't want y'all to think I'm crazy. I want to also say I'm not on any drugs. I, I don't, I'm not, haven't had a drop of alcohol today. I had a margarita last night. But I want to say that I in speaking from my heart, I'll answer some of your questions at the end, but I just want to say God has cast his players in this battle and his children. And a lot of us has been deceived and we've, we've known that there's been corruption. I mean, corruption is, it's going to come out that there's been corruption in every industry. Okay. It's been called the last four years has been the exodus of Kings because of the amount of CEOs that have completely resigned from their, their role. And you wonder why. I mean, and I want to say, God, it says in the Bible, God can use a mule, you know, like a donkey to do his good will. And he can, he can use, he can use someone like Trump, by the way, which there was prophecy in 2006. And again, in 2009 and 2012, 2014, by different pastors that had, and a prophecy is, a revelation from God that says um, what the future may in entail. And when you start throwing numbers, God is mysterious and he has wonders. And I've experienced some supernatural stuff. I should have died four times in my life. Um, I was hit by a car going 95 miles per hour that hit love of my life so far, Elizabeth Toon. And I lived through that. I was a miracle. Then I was given an overdose at Cedar sinai Hospital four days later. 
that should have killed me and I saw Elizabeth who had been deceased for four days. I want you all to imagine with me that, that God is love and God's power through his Holy Spirit. There's, there's the Holy Spirit, God the Father, and Jesus Christ. God the Son, God the Father, and the Holy Spirit. We've had our history compromised by these same people through, his, through generational history. These, this dark web, this dark government that has been trying to control us and be as we've been sheep. And we're told to wear, literally like slaves, wear masks and can't even talk, it muzzles us. Slaves wore, were masked up when they were sold. White, black, yellow, we've all been enslaved in history at one point. And it's wrong. And I believe black lives matter. I also believe that children's lives matter. And they're the innocent of our world that we need to be fighting for. Why aren't we in the streets marching against the sex trafficking and human trafficking. There's human slavery going on in the world, but Satan wants us to, to divide us. He wants to say black lives matter, and he wants to say LGBTQT lives, you know, we, these different groups. No, we're children of God, need to come together. And in the name of justice for the slavery that's going on right now and by people where are all the loud celebrities that that are telling us what to do in every other moment and have been the big black lives matter and telling us to stay safe and stay home and by the way these pro these are all programming these these slogans stay safe and stay home wear your mask and i, I want to say i'm so very sorry for covid is a very real disease but the real sickness Friends, is sin and lies. It's truth and lies. So we've been accepting lies because we didn't know. A lot of us didn't know, and I'm, I, we're getting woken up. And I encourage you to wake up and stop listening to mainstream media, both sides of it. Both sides of Fox and CNN, they have two different agendas. And I'm not, and again, I'm not talking to my conservative friends or my liberal friends I'm talking if you believe in that God is love I'm talking to you if you don't well screw you because God is love and Satan knows he fears this he fears that God's people will wake up and start coming together in unity in love and stands up for justice of the people that we who need who need us most children and there are evil people without souls that are walking amongst us too. And there's demonic spirits that are whispering lies in our ear. I've had it happen with my own family in the last two weeks. It's been my two best friends and my family have been the hardest people for me to find unity with. But I'm trying to be bold and there's been stuff that I've, claims that I maybe have made that don't make sense because I didn't sleep well. But I'm totally, I'm totally rested and I'm telling you that God is love, and he wants, to, he wants to use his children to first expose wickedness. If you know something's going on in, in your heart, in your own life, confess it. I'll tell you, I've struggled with pornography I, in my life. I've struggled with drinking too much. I've taken advantage of women, and I am very sorry, and I want to ask for forgiveness for any woman that I have not shown and treated like the bride that she is of God. I've, I've done, I've cussed too much. I, I, you know, I've, I've done, I've gossiped. I've done it. I've done it all. We need to stand up as Americans. We are the city on the hill. Everyone that wants to, everyone that wants to come to America outside of us, we are the country that everybody would love to be it. But God is not in charge right now. He, it's not one nation under God. And I'll tell you the Hollywood Hollywood is named after, it's Wicca, it's named after the holly tree, which basically says, you, you, can ever serve, you can serve one of two gods, okay? And I'll say, the God of love, which he gives us commandments, and he says, stay in this lane, and I'm going to give you the way and the truth and the life, the real life, if you just stay in these lanes. And then the holly tree is represented, the tree of life is God, the holly tree is Pick whatever berries you want. Freedom is doing what you want to do. Don't worry about any laws. Do what you want to do. And sex has been corrupted. God created sex to be a wonderful thing. 
And if you look at how evil pedophilia is, and I have friends and family members that have been, have been molested, and I hate it by the parents, by their church leader, by the priest, by the camp counselor, and it's the most wicked, evil thing. And this child is now confused for life, dealing with depression, dealing with her sexuality, and God made sex a pure thing between a man and a woman. And if you disagree with me, I'm sorry, That's where you're, it's a slippery slope once you start saying, I, I, I love my homosexual friends, I love, I do not, I rebuke you pedophiles, and you're, but I love you, Re come clean and get out of this and say, confess to your family, your friends, confess your deepest, darkest evilness that's in your heart, and be free of, we're going to be enslaved, you're enslaved to shame. I joked last week that, that shame is like a fart, okay? And we all have it, we need to let it go. It's a natural thing, we need to let it go and we need to come confess and say, Lord, I'm sorry, I struggle with this. And we need to ask people to forgive us when we hurt them. We need to love the golden rule. Love others as you would want, want them to love you. Do unto others. Put the, their shoes on your foot before you make a decision. How is it going to make that feel? Why are we staying in our tribes and not having conversations with the man on the street that looks homeless and could use encouragement? Or that, that girl that's crying in the corner of that restaurant. Why not go up and have a, a conversation ask to pray for her? We, we're not supposed to stay in our tribes. We're supposed to... We're so unique. God gave us so many... In, incredible, unique talents, and we placed us and blessed us and put us in these groups to be lights in our own groups. But I tell you, break outside the group. There's so much richer of a life if we just loved each other and weren't scared to stay in our bubble. I was, I was raised in the bubble. It's literally called the bubble, Highland Park. And I, it was a very blessed life, and there's a lot of blessed people there. But when God gives us blessings, those are His. He's just lending them out to us. And we're supposed to, what if we gave away? We're living in a world of excess, okay? If you watch, start Googling some of this stuff. If you, they call it the big goal, okay? Kevin Spacey, if you watch a video on YouTube, watch, watch Nerds Prom, okay? And it's basically showing how the dark government has controlled us and told us a false narrative that's put us these lies and put us in bondage to lies. And that is the sickness, folks, the lies. And this is a war on information. We're in the information age where we can like that, get put information out there to my story or my channels. And I think I'm losing people because maybe as I'm rambling on, but I just want to tell you all, God is love. We've been programmed. And wake up out of this program that Except that people that you love and that you put on pedestals have lied to you. And we need to start standing up for America again. And think about if, if Trump can be used. He's a jackass. I'm a jackass. I'm a clown. But I hope God can still use me despite all my sin and all, my, all the stuff that has, could help hold me down from being righteous. Because I will tell you, I thank God for my Savior. And we need a Savior. And think about God, Jesus Christ can not be just a great prophet. He's either a liar, he's a lunatic, or he is the one he says he is. So I'm, to my non-Christian friends, I hate labels. To my, children, my friends that are children of God that think Christ was just a great prophet, he said he was the son of God. How can he be the son of God? And how can he say that he's the son of God and be a great prophet? Because he's a liar. So think about our holy books have been compromised by the same dark government. I was told the first day I went to Hollywood that they knew I was a Christian conservative. I had said nothing other than wearing some Wranglers and Levi's. But I, I was told that, uh, they need, that you need to know, Luke, that this town is run by a Jewish cabal and a homosexual mafia. And I said, what? Come again? And they, they said, yeah, it's true. Quicker, quicker you realize that, you know, that we decide who makes it or not in this town, then you'll be helped to help. Just stay in your lane, brother. So I'm telling you, I saw other stuff that I can get into later, but 
watch my the stuff I put on my stories. It's just exposing wickedness. So we're not dead and plugged into this false narrative. And I'm I, I, COVID is a real disease. Is it as big and bad as they say it is? Absolutely not. Look at the facts. It's not. It's it's. Look at flu of last year. It's killing people, and I hate it. And but I want to tell you too. Fear is the opposite of love. We are not to fear death. If if you love God, He knows every hair on your head, every single one, and He knows the day He's going to take you. I should have been dead a couple times by now. I don't fear this disease. You know, and Satan and his his darkness wants us not to be fellowshipping with each other. The literal sun, vitamin D, is a natural way that keeps our bodies. We need that. We need to go out and get sunlight. And they're saying, stay inside, stay home, and stay safe, which is the opposite of what God would tell you. We're not supposed to fear a disease. Wear your mask if you feel like you're contagious. Sick people quarantine. People with immune deficient issues, quarantine. Healthy people don't quarantine, okay? And I'll tell you that I was checked in a week, uh, about a, over a week ago by people I love to the psych ward at the psych ward. It's very embarrassing. And I'm telling you, I've never been diagnosed with schizophrenia, Bipolar, manic, anything like that. I may act manic because I'm a passionate person, but I'm telling you, look into my eyes, I'm not psychotic, okay? I, when I don't get a lot of sleep, I may say, say some crazy stuff, which maybe that was the case, but I chose to allow two people I love to check me into the psych ward at, or whatever, the psych ward at, at Parkland Hospital, and I'm telling you, it was... I wanted to do it because I wanted to prove to these people that these two people that I love that I'm not crazy. And so immediately it was a spiritual battle. And that's what this whole thing is. It's a spiritual battle, guys. It's truth versus lies. It's light versus darkness. God is, if you're, if you're just want to bury your head in the sand and not think this is a spiritual battle. I saw the most crazy thing. This, there's energy it's going on. It's 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 going on right among us. And there's a veil. We can't see everything that's happening. Okay? We cannot see. But there's a veil that's about to drop. And God's going to push reset like he did with the flood. Like he did with Sodom and Gomorrah and the Tower of Babel. And he's going to do it with a big storm of information. And he's going to see, look. here. Look at the wickedness. And look at all the people that, that you have been worshipping as American idols that are celebrities that you think are so great and they're just people. And guess what? A lot of the celebrities are compromised or demonic themselves. And they, they've been saying it's not loving to have a choice to have an, uh, for not have a choice to have an abortion. Abortion guys, it is very evil. It is very evil. And I, and there's a lot of people that have had regret doing it. It's the most evil Look at what I posted about how many black babies have died in the last 50 years. 22 million black babies, but they're not babies inside a mother's stomach. She can feel it kicking. She can see the hands. This is this is the one of the great lies the liberal agenda has told us. Liberal agenda is fighting for your individual rights. It's saying, pick the berry from the holly tree. Anything goes. Anything goes. And that's sex. That's Drugs, do what you want to do. No, God gave us commandments to live. And he said, stay in your damn lane. And I promise you're going to have a much fulfilling, more fulfilling life than you could ever imagine. And I'll give you your dreams. And I will give you your fantasies if you just stay between these lanes. And just like a serpent came to Eve in the garden, she said, God said, this garden is all y'alls. Everything. And it's the most beautiful thing about the most beautiful I think of when I think of heavenly places, I've been uh, Patagonia, Chile. When I went hiking there, most beautiful place I've ever been. And God says, Luke, you can have anything in this garden or in this in Patagonia, but don't eat from that tree over there because it will make you sick. And I, it's not my tree. And that's what the snake came and whispered in Eve's ear and said, 
these apples are sweeter and they're better. Just take a bite, just one bite. And that's the slippery slope of sin and, and us not dealing with it and not coming forward. And you don't have to announce it to the world, but announce it to the people you love around you. Say, I'm struggling with, I, I look at pornography, I, I drink too much, I'm an alcoholic and I need to be, I, this, is, this is a giving me, you know, maybe you're an alcoholic that just is like a downward spiral. We have, we are in bondage to the lies that the media has told us and that we, the satanic whispers have told us. It, and Satan is a very real thing, but God has come to overcome the world. And that's the good news that we all need to be sharing. I'm not a minister. I'm just a, a media guy, a storyteller. We need to share the good news boldly and talk to each other and have deep conversations and not talk about your golf. I don't care about your damn golf game. I don't care about how many quail you, you, you got, you know. Talk about these deep conversations. I've had the deepest conversations with my Uber drivers and it's connecting. That's like, these. that's the heavenly connection of like knowing that we're heavenly creatures living in a very earthly world. These are earth suits. That's all they are. They come in different colors come in different languages, but we're all God's children. And I want to emphasize, I'm not a prophet. And if I say anything that brings someone down, then shame on me and I will ask for God's forgiveness. If I say anything that's a lie, shame on me, I will ask for God's forgiveness. But I'm boldly proclaiming that God wants to use you and your gifts and he wants to use you in your own, where God has placed you uniquely. Like he knows every hair on your head, he knows you. And if you don't know God, ask him to make himself real. He will download in, in our dreams. God, that's a way to download his truth. And he will do amazing wonders. We just need to come together and unify as God's children. Love is the opposite of hate. Hate is human trafficking. Hate is pedophilia. Hate is the lies that we are being told to program us certain ways. That's all I'm going to say for now. I'm taking too much time. Let me see what here... Some of the questions, what is your plan to help others understand who can't understand the logic you're explaining? Uh, what is my plan? What is your plan to help others understand who can't understand the logic? That's a great question from Stormy Weathers. God is going to wake us up at different times. My grandfather was pretty much a, he was a agnostic or atheist until six months before he died. And I had a miraculous experience with him. And my grandfather would, like thought, my father's in ministry, ministry. He does prison ministry and he does, he does, uh, he does prison ministry and he goes to Cuba and Haiti and Dominican Republic and, and just shares God's good news. And, and that's where he's called. He was in real estate for 22 plus years and God called him into full-time ministry. And by the grace of God, has, he's been supported by great people that believe in him and where he was called to go into prisons. I joke about my dad's in, you know, in prison during the week, but it gets off in the weekends. But God has placed all of us in these great positions. But going back to that question, we can't force people to see this way. We just have to love them. And God is going to, as things progress, as the Epstein, Harvey Weinstein, this dark web of connected people that were using it under right underneath our nose, the sick, nasty web. They were, they are, it's going to come out and people aren't going to want to believe that these great people that we trusted would, would lie to us. And I want you to start questioning every conspiracy theory because conspiracy theory came from the CIA it was a term to discount any any truths coming out of there to discount people. And I'm I'm already been called crazy, a liar, or I'm losing my shit. My family thinks I've lost my shit. And I promise you, I'm more sane and awake than I've ever been. And it's a it's a freeing thing. It's better than any drug that you can take. And it does feel like a natural high because you see how God works and you see the darkness. Start listening to songs. You can tell, I'm not talking about Christian songs. Just put Pandora on just a mix of all your stations and listen to ones for God's light versus 
They're satanic ones, okay? And again, you're serving yourself or you're serving one God of love. You can't do both and live in harmony. So start thinking about how we do that, but be patient with those. My grandfather found God in a, he was in a coma-like state. God came to him and said, he said, um, R Russell, who I'm Luke Russell, my grandfather, Russell Coffey, coached University of Texas with Daryl Royal through the glory years. He said, Russell, I've allowed you to be bitter and angry your whole life. I'm going to give you six more months on this earth, but I want you to tell everyone that you have now know that I'm real and, and then I'm going to call you home. Six months almost to the day I was with him and he was struggling, breathing, and I asked for God to take him away because he was in pain and I celebrated that he was, he was new God now. And the guy was a different person. And that's the whole thing. You will see a different, I'm different than I was two weeks ago, but I'm different in a good way, I think. But, and I, and I, I've, I may, I don't want to sound self-righteous. It's nothing to do with me other than God gave me and revealed. And I have a source that, that stuff's about to go down. I don't know when exactly, but just start watching the news, but do your own research and know that the news, there, there are corporations and people that are benefiting from the doom and gloom and from the fear. And we, we should move forward in love, okay? And respect people. And if we want to wear masks, it's not a big deal. But honestly, the pandemic is not the big sickness going on. It's lies versus truth. We're sick with lies and we've been lied to. And I just want to say, I love y'all all. And going back to that question, be patient. My grandfather, I asked to, I asked that God would take him away. And I was praying and I, with my, some of my family that don't necessarily believe what I believe, we're praying around his bed. And I said, Lord, if it's your will, take Papu to be with you right now because he's in pain and I'll see you soon, Papu. And then I open my eyes. Well, I hear this gasp from my, my family around and they, and I look at my, my grandfather and he goes, <sighs> and he was gone. And it was just his, I looked at his body as just an earth suit and he went to be in the glorious part. Think about a place where there is no sickness. There is no lies. There is just people serving each other and loving one another. That's, I, went, I made a documentary that I still haven't finished called Through the Storm that I went across Texas and just wanted to first tell stories about badass Texans helping each other out, but it became much more of a spiritual story. And they kept saying, Luke, this is what heaven's going to be like. And I'm looking around and it smells like dead dogs and it smells like sickness and gross. And I have a sensitive gag reflex. I throw up very easily. And I was gagging around and I was like, how can this be like heaven's? what heaven is like. And they said, no, we see that this is just physical world. All this stuff is just stuff and it's going to burn away. And I want to, I want to say that all the stuff we've been living in a time of excess. We, they call it the big gulp. Okay. We, we want more. We want more. We want more. We want to have the multiple houses. We want to have the jet, we have, you know, we want to have what we envy the people that have those things, but that's going to burn up. You're not, I've never seen a hearse with a luggage rack of you. It's not going to come. So I'm telling you folks, start looking at the times and, and pairing it with scripture. Don't just listen to me. Go, go. I don't want you to convince you. Go look for yourself. Watch my stories, starting with the great awakening. God wants to wake us up and there's going to be a time where we're going to be walking in God's light and not in this darkness. And that doesn't mean we weren't Christians or we weren't God's children and of these other and of these other religions. It means that we were plugged into a false reality. And the reality is our nightmares are the reality. Our nightmares are being are happening right under our nose. It's not one boogeyman, it's not one Charles Manson, you know, it's not one serial killer, it's a network of serial killers child molesters and that are doing evil and wearing, they're the ones wearing masks and saying, virtue signaling us and saying, you should be doing this. This is loving. It's loving to have a choice to kill your child in the womb. And I, I'm not shaming the women and men that have chosen to have not have a child because those, those babies are immediately 
children of God and are back in heaven. And my Elizabeth wanted to have children and she didn't get to on earth. So I imagine those mothers that never got to be mothers are taking care of those children. And I want to, I want to say, I'm sorry for all the people that have been molested and beaten and by family members that have just made you bitter and angry. That is not because of God. He allowed it, but he wants to take you out of bondage from your bitterness and your sin. He wants to free you from your, the shame that you have of, of what, what he's, the cards that you felt you got dealt. God wants to take those cards and rip them up and give you a fuller life. He wants, he wants to show you, he wants to show you the real light of life. And he wants to reveal that suffering and brokenness are part of this life. And it's a good part of it because you know what? It makes us understand people better and understand their hurts and be more comforting and loving and know how to reach out to people and love them better and say, I love you. I'm so sorry. I understand that hurt. I understand it and it sucks. And it makes us bold and not fearful of, I don't care if I get canceled, stupid ass cancel culture and PC shit. We should be able to speak our mind. That's what America was about. But once we took God out of school, slippery slope. And I'm telling y'all, start being bold. Wherever you are, we have time to research this. Don't take my word for it. Watch my stories. There are other people. These QAnons are not a cult. They're people trying to expose the real truth. And media is going to give you partial truth or lies. So go look for it. There's ways, why, why are all the stuff getting, stuff that maybe I'm saying is getting, it's literally getting cut out of the internet. We're getting totally edited out because of conspiracy theories. Why would they care if they were just conspiracy theories? Maybe there's some truth to them, huh? Think about that. Think about that you were lied to and think about that there's a Satan and there's a God of love and Satan hates the children of God who are bright lights and are yelling loudly that we don't, we ain't scared of you, Satan, and F you. I want to say fuck you, but I'm going to say F you. But folks, well, let me see if any of these questions. So again, if somebody asks that doesn't understand, thanks for the beautiful eyes, Logan. That's cute. I don't, anyway, I don't, any other questions? I, I don't, I don't have all the answers. All I know is that I, I have given my life to a God of love and that is all that matters is love. And if you are, any decision you make, think about how, how it, it affects that person that's on the other end of it. How would it affect them? Is it a loving thing? Do unto others as you would have them do to you. Put your, their shoes on your feet. Think about, is this in a selfish way? Am I, am I not? We should be celebrating people's accomplishments. My fellow directors in my industry, I, I trust that God, if I don't get one job, it's because it wasn't meant for me. And God has taken care of me. I've been, I've been in a month where I had $1,000 in my account and, and then I book a big job. God will take care of us. He may not give you what you want because a lot of what our wants are not what we need our needs are all that matter because guys we are going to go to a greater place and i've seen it i had a vision of it y'all can think i'm cuckoo for cocoa puffs but i've seen it i saw my cousin chrissy who's one of my biggest cheerleaders i saw elizabeth i saw my grandmother and it's a beautiful place that outshines this stinking dark world and think about 2020 this is, this is, there's never been a time like this worldwide where we're all connected in this one virus, scary virus that was man-made, by the way. I have a good source to all this, but I'm just going to keep it big and say, love each other, love each other, love each other and be bold. Call out wickedness. If there's corruption in your business, if there's something going on, call it out. Be bold. Don't fear getting fired. Don't fear backing don't fear unbacking companies that have lied to us when this comes out. 
Unplug from them. Quit following 90 million people follow some of these these celebrities. And if it comes out that they're part of the wickedness, unfollow them. They don't deserve it. Stop buying their merchandise. Start buying. Just start looking in love at everything and start researching it. We have the time right now. And I love you all. And I'm going to, I'll get back on another time, but I love you all. And I'm, I'm sorry if I rambled and I'm not crazy. And I want to tell you, they kept me in seven days. I was supposed to be in there an afternoon in the psych ward at Parkland, Parkland. And if you think I'm crazy, so be it. But I was in Parkland for seven days and they said, they kept saying, it's going to be this afternoon. It will be tonight. It'll be tomorrow morning. And they kept me against my will for seven days. And I checked myself in, okay, because I wanted to prove to these two people I love very much that I'm not crazy and I'm not in a cult. I'm just a I'm bringer of truth. And that's what QAnons are. They're people that are hiding, hiding the truth in plain sight, like the people, the darkness has been doing the same thing with the dark web. But if you search for the stuff, I've screenshot a lot of it. I have a lot of it in my files. If you have questions about stuff, ask me or I'll put it out again. But watch my stories. I manically, I've had that stuff. And 14 years ago, I'll say, God said, tell a big universal love story. This is the universal love story. That God is love and the darkness is going to be snuffed out by the bright light that God has given us. Drink, drink the spring water of truth look at scripture be around people that are loving don't be around negative people drink drink the living water as it's called and just pray for this nation and pray that people start waking up and looking at the truth and reality and i can't believe i have this nasty chops right now i forgot i even had these this is my parkland chops but anyway i got checked out at parkland seven days after they, they claimed that I had COVID. I said, I feel like the best I've ever felt in my life. I did a COVID test the day after I got out. I'm COVID free. So another lies with these testing. My brother had COVID, but was had a false, false negative. So I had, I was told and they, and I was, they kept me in a room. I didn't leave for seven days, three and a half days. I was in a psych ward. If you want to know where hell is, go to a psych ward in a state hospital because it was freaking hell. But anyway, I love you. I want to end on a good good note. God is love. Okay? In the end, only three things will remain. Faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. I love you, friends. Share if you feel led. And I'm sorry for rambling. Thank you for your time.